Mm-hmm. So Shu, how, how what? How about you? What's your what's your gay experience? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's a oh, uh, being friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> um. So Anna, what's your gay experience? My gay experience. <laughs> Well, I think I talked about this on stream, but my very first sleepover, I had two of my middle school friends who... And one of them was like... One of them had a boyfriend, first of all. And then they started making out. Whoa. Um, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Started, this, this is the short summary, okay? They started <laughs> making out. And then after I brushed my teeth, I went into the room. And they only had like a one queen-size bed. And they were doing Whoa. some weird things under the sheet, and I was like, "What are you guys doing?" And then they were, and then I uncovered the sheets, and then they were like <gasps> kissing and making out, and they were like, "Yeah, you want to join?" And I felt very uncomfortable because I was fourteen, and what? you know, I was just not, you know, I wasn't feeling it. I don't care. So I went downstairs, slept on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Wow. That was my very first sleepover, so I thought that was normal for some reason. Oh my gosh. Wow, very sure open-minded. Yeah. Hello. I talked about this on stream. I thought I so. Guess. Yeah, I remember the sleepover story. It, it was pretty in depth, but you know, I shortened it. Oh my nice. god. Hey guys. That's so open-minded of them at that young age. <laughs> yeah, I think they were experimenting. It's just like I wasn't comfortable. I thought we were just gonna watch Netflix and then rip, sleep. Rip, rip boyfriend. I know. Well, it's, no, it's just whatever. They can do whatever they want. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess. Interesting. Being young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only live once, man. I mean, if it ended up it was that way, better to rip the band-aid off early and tell the boyfriends. Just like that is very true. Uh, yeah. I play for the other team now. I'm sorry. Actually, My bad. The, or she plays for later. multiple. Oh, we true. That is impossible. Friends anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, maybe not days. It was like weeks. They were like, I remember the girl being yeah. like, "You're so much more patient than she is," and I was like, mm-hmm. "Didn't you guys make out or something?" I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> drama. Maybe there was some denial on one side, and they had to like get away from the other person. <laughs> I don't know. That's oh wild. God. The T. The T. <laughs> I was asking everyone what's their gay experience when they join call, but I feel like <laughs> the first one. Not first one, just any. A one. Oh, God. Guess. Oh. <laughs> I'll go with the first one. The first one's easier. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever is easier. <laughs> yeah, kind of like Enna's. It was just like. Spending time after school, I think I was like 15 or... Yeah, I must have been 15 because it was still secondary school. <clears throat> Either 14 or 15. But we were just playing spin the bottle. And I remember ah. like... Yeah, we were in like the top of a jungle gym type thing. Near one of our friend's houses. Oh, in the um, house? No, like near one of the houses, like just outside. Uh, the little uh, little oh. park that served like... It's a tiny park. It served like the local block area kind of thing. Hmm. Um, I just remember me being like, oh, I really want it to land on this one girl. God, I like her so much. Oh, God. I was like spilling my spaghetti, being a nice guy for like a year with this girl. And I spanned the bottle and it landed on this other dude who was like one of my closest friends. And I looked at him like kind of terrified and he just kind of grinned at me. And I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this. Oh, my God. I went in to kiss him on the cheek and he, I kissed him on the cheek and he was like, no, no, no. And when everyone kissed me on the lips. And then he kissed me on the lips, and I remember just being like, oh. Oh, I see. (laughs) I don't just like BL, I see. (laughs) (laughs) Up until that point, I'd genuinely been like, I like BL, but I I don't swing that way. I just like my anime boys. And then, yeah, I kissed this one dude, and I was like, oh. Yeah. (laughs) Shit. Wowee. (laughs) Damn it, should have slept with those two girls then. 
You should have. It might have worked. <laughs> but yeah, I still didn't do anything after that because I was terrified for like another five years. It was just at that moment I was like, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, five years? Oh uh, yeah, I went like the whole way through college trying to deny it. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my gosh. Raymu, what's your gay experience? <laughs> oh, here we go. I had... <laughs> my, my chat always makes fun of me because they don't count it as a girlfriend, but okay. I had, a, I had a, a weird situationship with a friend in uni. Okay, oh. the council of gay is here to judge you. But then <laughs> she, asked, she was acting too toxic, so I ended up like not talking to her again. Oh, um, that's oh. unfortunate. That's anti -comatic. Yeah, where's the it. where's I mean, the tea? Detail, but I don't want to give any of the details. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, if you had a situation ship, you had a situation ship. That's fine. And yeah, it's like, where's the meat of the story? It's like, <laughs> it's like a non-committed relation. It's like when you basically no. have a relationship, but not really. Yeah, it's like, wait, wait what are we? I don't understand. But how do yeah. you know if you're in a situation ship? Oh. A situation ship is normally. Sorry, go ahead. They treat us a friend, but they're also not telling you you're their girlfriend. So you're like, yeah. Oh. So like, what? What was she doing that was making you feel like you were in a situation? Well, she was being really gay with me. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> look, gotta be more specific. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Anna is trying to pull out yeah. details. <laughs> what does gay mean? <laughs> what does, what does gay, gay mean? mean? <laughs> and Anna's just sitting here like, which orifice where? Tell yeah. me who, what, when, it's where, she why, didn't, how. She, she didn't the do the thing at the sleepover. So she's trying oh, to figure out what. Yeah. yeah. Oh, want to figure out my situation through your situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I putting you in a situation ship? I'm so sorry. I love it by know. the end of this conversation. And it's going to be like, huh, I guess I am by. <laughs> <laughs> do not think, just feel. <laughs> yeah. Like, she wanted girlfriend privileges, but she wouldn't... Commit. C yeah. Uh, that's normally how a situation Yeah, that's normally yeah. the commitment like, issues. Uh, yeah. It's always the commitment issues, but I swear to God. <laughs> Damn. Because then she would, like, um, tell me, like, not to talk with certain girls because she would get, like, really jealous. But I'm like, oh, what, what are we? Wow. <laughs> like, I don't what? understand. Wow. Yeah. This is why... <laughs> I this is why you should have uh, suggested an open relationship. No, I'm, I'm too... I don't like sharing, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Um... You can't share something that's not yours. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's true, you're not in a relationship. <laughs> See, bitch, this is why you're like that. Alone. 